Jackknife. Sushi 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 Jackknife. Oh, howdy. That's that's one more time. Oh, howdy. What what uh what has brought the howdy on? I don't know. You know, lately it's been oh boy. That's been my my catchphrase. Oh little, boy. Oh boy. I've just had a lot of shit going on, mm-hmm. and the I think the appropriate response was oh boy. That seems fair. Yeah. Right. That's, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. I mean, it's not like fuck or you know. Yeah. It's a lot I went of through a spell after watching the first season of Fargo, where everything was just oh jeez. Oh jeez. Or occasionally, oh heck. Oh heck. But mostly, oh jeez. <laughs> oh Margie. Mm-hmm. Mm. I hope everyone enjoyed the Oh, welcome to Sushi Jack Knife. Yeah. Uh, Episode 101. 101, taking you back to school. Fun fact. If you take that, flip it around, still 101. Oh, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Wow. You can flip that as many times as you want. It's still uh, gonna be 101. Uh, Hope everyone enjoyed the live show. We certainly did. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) there's one relic from the live show down here. The dice of material, I saved it. Yeah. Along with the chart that explains what it is. So Mm -hmm. if we hit a lull Mm -hmm. between us even, yeah, I think it's fair to pull out the dice of material. We could do the dice of material. You think so? Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe we don't need to. Occasionally. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say we ever need it. There will be a time for the dice of material. The only time that we might need it is if you start singing too much. Well, I do sing quite a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope everyone enjoyed that. Uh, we tried to stream on YouTube that night as well. We are currently right now for the podcast people, but you can't. You've obviously missed it. If. And for the <laughs> for the live stream YouTube people, we're also recording this as a podcast. Yes, yeah, so you can listen to this later. Um, that video should post. It's been converting for, I don't know, a week. Hmm. So I don't know what the That's deal is promising. there. promising. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's going <laughs> to actually come to pass. There was one bit, I wanted to start with this. There was one bit of material that uh, was sort of established... Uh, at the live show that we needed to cover tonight. Okay. And I uh, just, I'm sorry, just it's it's a Twitter thing. Let me pull up the Twitter here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, our friend Brandon, who... Ah, uh, uh, yes, Brandon. Yeah, yeah. There was a question that came up uh, in the last show mm-hmm. as to whether he's photogenic enough. The sad thing is that question was brought up, up I think, by his wife. It was, Well, no, it was brought up by him... I believe in response to his wife. That's it. Who I think had said no. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. That I'm not going to is... swear by the order of this. But... Right. That is correct. Um, I so I posted a little poll. Um, <laughs> I put up a a picture of Brandon. The first thing he sent me was like an emoji of him in a teacup. Mm-hmm. I don't know yeah. if you saw that. I saw that. I saw it. Yeah. Um, and then there's a picture of actual Brandon. But before any of the pictures went out, I just said, "Is Brandon photogenic?" Uh, to the poll, we received one response. Mm-hmm. Yes. Was that was that from Brandon? I don't know. So a hundred percent of responders. <laughs> Uh, said that yes he is photogenic i'll yeah. have to ask him if he was the one who responded uh to that if so then it's inconclusive i think so his it, vote does not count no 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 it's not like when the vice president goes down to congress and like right. tie breaks some shit i i mean i will say having not voted like it's a good picture of him it is it does he doesn't look like a garbage person not in the all. picture no so no, and that was just a selfie that he just won off mm-hmm, as mm-hmm. I was texting him. He was like, "So yeah. I, I, evidently he is photogenic. He is photogenic. I don't care what the poll says, whether it was him or not. It worked. An attractive person is an attractive person. Is attractive the same thing as photogenic? Though I don't know. No, not necessarily. Yes, I'm sure there are there are many very attractive people who could never be models. That's because true. the camera hates them. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they say the camera puts on 10 pounds? Mm-hmm. Sometimes just in one spot. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's a 10 pound mole. <laughs> right. Just right on their face. Not a Cindy Crawford mole. No. You know, more of a... Mm, 
adenocarcinoma mm-hmm. type mole mm-hmm. or something. More Halloween <laughs> witch costume mole. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Unofficial Halloween uh, one stop shop right here. Sure. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Are we going to start providing Halloween costumes? That seems like a, a losing scenario. I um, I think that I'm going to convince Oliver, my child, that ghost costumes are the best <laughs> costumes uh, all through his childhood. Uh, mm-hmm. Because you won't even have to buy a new one. Good luck with that. He's not friend. going to outgrow the sheet. <laughs> That's true. You could start with one sheet, Mm -hmm. and then the rest of his life... Yeah, just... It's the same... Here's the Halloween sheet. It's gonna get dirty. Put on your costume. You know, if we structured this properly, Mm -hmm. we could get all the children in the neighborhood to believe that. That's true. And then we would... None of us would ever have to pay for Halloween costumes. And that news story on the local (laughs) news about (laughs) the gang of sheeted ghosts... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I mean, you know how how much everyone freaked out about the clowns in the woods. Oh yeah, that was last year's big. Imagine if it was just children <laughs> dressed up as ghosts in sheets. That sounds just horrible. Everywhere. That sounds really, really horrible. <laughs> oh my god. That's a horror movie for you, right there. It is. I just checked. I yeah. went ahead and looked behind mm-hmm. me just mm-hmm. to see. I mean, that's kind of what the triangle people are rocking. It's just a sheet. Yeah. With the triangle painted on it. Yeah. Stop looking <laughs> behind me like there's <laughs> someone there. <laughs> uh, hey, I said it, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. You brought it for the uh, the live show, my friend. You I, really I did. always bring it. Yeah. Oh. I can't bring anything but it. That's all you can bring? That's all Just I can bring. Just the one thing? It's the choice I have. Brandon did not um, vote for himself. Wow. So he is 100% photogenic. I will say it right here. I don't believe you, Brandon. <laughs> He's going to have to actually listen to uh, to hear you say that. I know. Yeah. Um, so that leads me to believe who voted for him. I, I added you mm-hmm. and Jeff. Well, I didn't vote. So and I didn't either. I bet so it was it's Jeff. That it's Jeff. That scumbag. Hmm. Hang on now. Hang on. What? Hang on now. Scumbag. No. No. I I don't think you're taking what I'm saying in its true character. Okay. I'm saying Jeff is a bag of scum. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, be like, nice. I, I want. I shouldn't have uttered his name. I don't. I don't want it to he had come to across as an insult. It's more just a fact that he's a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't share your opinion. He had to reschedule. What's the big deal? We couldn't make it happen. Not mm-hmm. a huge deal. Mm-hmm. Not a huge deal. Yeah, that's what all the scumbags think. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm moving on from this. <laughs> I'm moving on from this. You be nice to him. He's a very big supporter of our show, well, and I love him. That's the more important thing. I, I don't love him anymore. In a way that you that I don't love you, actually. Okay. I'm yeah. fine with that. Okay. <laughs> uh, from scumbags to fatbergs. This uh, is the only news article I have tonight, but it's the only one we'll need. Fatbergs? Fatberg, like an iceberg, but it's okay. made of fat. Let me read you a couple headlines here. UK engineers launch a, quote, sewer war against giant fat blob. (laughs) British engineers say they have launched a sewer war against a giant blob of fat clogging London sewers. Um, It will likely take three weeks to dissolve the outsized fatberg. Uh, It is 250 yards long and weighs as much as 11 double-decker buses. How much is that? A lot. The unsavory blob consists of congealed wet wipes, diapers, fat, and oil. (laughs) Um, He said it, the the, the engineers say it's so hard, it's like trying to break up concrete. They're using high-powered jet hoses to try to break it into chunks before taking it out in tankers to be disposed of. Um, let's see. I thought I had some more information here. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, like, that posted one day, and then a day later, museum bids to acquire huge fatberg. <laughs> Glock and London sewers. <laughs> london's monster fatberg may be destined for a museum the museum of london says it's trying to acquire a chunk of the 130 metric ton 143 u.s tons mass of oil fat diapers and baby wipes why it's it's in a victorian era sewer by the way so that's the problem utility company tim's tank it how do you say thames tim's right t-h-a-m-e-s is the thames river isn't that how they say it? No. Uh, I it live in America. Is trying to dislodge the smelly blob, which is 200... Yeah, wait, we said this already. Da, 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 da. Museum director Sharon Amet said Wednesday that adding the fat bird to its collection would, quote, raise questions about how we live today and also inspire our visitors to consider solutions to the problems of growing metropolises. says, the museum hopes to attain a cross-section of the fat bird it hasn't decided how it would be displayed. Hopefully, it would not. <laughs> I was so surprised to see that. They're like, okay, the, I'm on the Washington Post. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, what? Uh, I know, it's surprising, right? Yeah. I'm reading about the news of the day, hurricanes, lots of bad things. And on the left-hand side, pulling my eyes away from the latest dilemma is, uh, is, this, is this article. And if you can see it, it's this giant chunk of shit that's hanging from the ceiling of a sewer. Oh, it's just horrible, Nathan. Um, I had a, a similar reaction to an article I saw this week, just the headline. It's actually a very interesting article. Okay. I'm intrigued. Uranus. Mm-hmm. Just, I'm, I'm going to start there and let you get into the proper uh, elementary school mindset here. Okay. Uranus. I'm there. Opens and closes every day <laughs> to let out planet's solar wind. Oh, my God. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it means that Uranus opens and closes every day to let wind out. No, it's actually interesting. Okay. It it Uranus has a way of um opening Cuz it's a gas giant, right? Yeah, yeah, essentially opening up its uh surface like yeah. its ozone type yeah. of layer thing yeah. to uh catch solar winds oh. from the sun. Oh, interesting. And then at the end of its day closes off to keep them from getting out. To keep them. Yeah. Oh, so it, it's trapping energy? And let's and let's enter it's it lets things out and it's in and out. It's an energy exchange. Yeah. It's a giant or yeah, almost an organism. Uranus. Yeah. Uh just is constantly releasing and gathering energy. I think that sounds about accurate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what do you sit on? The yeah. seat of your energy is Uranus. Yeah. Uranus opens and closes every day. Wow, that's that's incredible. To let out planet solar wind. <laughs> that really is incredible. I just I'm I will never get over that being a thing. Speaking of astronomy news, yeah. Uh did you see they crashed NASA crashed another satellite on purpose? I did. Yeah. Cassini uh into which has been uh, going around Saturn for quite a while now, taking some great pictures and stuff. And they they did this with an asteroid a while back. I think we talked about it. They basically turn all the sensors on. They let it gather as much data as it can, and then they crash it. And so it's it's sending data up until the last moment that it explodes into the atmosphere or whatever and burns up. They were actually worried about crashing it into one of the moons. They thought of doing that, but then they hesitated because it could contain bacteria on it from Earth that could could contaminate potential life. On, on one of the moons. Like Enceladus has the potential of having life on it. So they're like, hmm. oh, we'll send it into Saturn while well, that atmosphere, it'll just burn up. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, don't destroy any life out there. Let's not. Point. Let's not start that way if we can help it. We we need to preserve anything that's out there because we might be having to ask them to go <laughs> to their planet. <laughs> yes. Soon. Hey, guys. Uh... So, like... 
there's just a whole bunch of giant hurricanes now. Yeah, all the time. All uh, the it's time. Just, it's just a never-ending cycle of hurricanes. I, I, I have... I have had to schedule my mowing around hurricanes that here in a landlocked state. That is true. In the last month. Yes, because there's, we've, I mean, we haven't had any devastation by any means, but we've no. had lots of rain. Oh, no, no devastation. Yeah. yeah. Like, there was some flooding with Harvey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but not bad. Yeah. Not, not Nothing to whine about. Right, right. Anyone who's whining in, in, in Tennessee, yeah. meh. Yeah. But... It was like a, oh, well, I can't mow this weekend because the hurricane's here. Uh, well, I got to mow next weekend because the hurricane's supposed to be here Tuesday. <laughs> yep, it has been like that. <laughs> so, we'll see if the others show up. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All their friends. I understand you have a little bit of a political news um, to offer up, if you can call it that. I I think we can at this point. Okay. It's uh, <laughs> sad as it may be. <laughs> So, if, like, ten years ago, we'll, we'll go that far back. If someone were to say, who's the last person that should be running for political office? Yeah. Kid Rock would have been up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, or that little guy. That he might not have him. been number one. Yeah. That probably would have been Nickelback. Ah, oh, But not Kraftwerk. No. N- not no. U.S. citizens. They can't run. Um, but, yeah, definitely Kid Rock. It's happening now. Yeah. Because uh, Donald Trump broke everything, and nothing matters anymore. So, <laughs> and so Kid Rock at a concert in Detroit mm. this week mm-hmm. uh, started his campaigning. <laughs> oh, boy. Um so we have some some of the speech. Have you listened to it? No, I I, I grazed an article about it. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to hear the primary source here. What's going on in the world today? It seems the government wants to give everyone health insurance, but wants us all to pay. What the Rhymes. hell does that mean? The whole thing is rhyming. Distribution of wealth seems more like their plan. And I don't believe that you should save, sacrifice, do things by the book, and then have to take care of some deadbeat milk in the system, lazy mother. Oh my god. Um that's not the end of it. Holy I'm just stopping there. Shit. <laughs> by the way, he I, this is a little mean to say, but he is it just me, or did he age, like, 40 years in 10? Yeah. Well, I mean, he lives lives a hard life. He's got fat pockets, though. It's been it's been a long time since he was duetting with Sheryl Crow. I guess it has been, yeah. Yeah. I guess it has been. Um, but, I mean, he's got, he's got fat pockets. They're weighing him down. They're weighing him down. It's like I got a fat berg in my pocket. <laughs> They love him. Now, mm. the issue of struggling single parents is an issue close to my heart. But read my lips. We should not reward these women who can't even take care of themselves but keep having kid after kid. Oh, shit, man. All right, so. What the fuck? If we're outlining Kid Rock's stances politically, health care <clears throat> for people bad <laughs> yep don't okay. want it so that one that one's gone um we don't take care of people we think have had too many children all right so they're out bad. <laughs> okay two sets of people we don't have to deal with he has fat pockets moving on moving on How the fuck? Oh. Are you deadbeat dads who refuse to be a man? Who refuse to raise your sons up to be good men? You get them blow fires and gangster wannabes? I say lock all you up and throw away the keys. Oh. 
holy shit. So, um, now oh, it's a boy. crime oh, boy. to be an absentee father. Not something I condone. Right. The absentee fatherism. You, oh, man. I, I'm looking forward to the day, we'll say six months from now, when it comes out that he has a child he didn't know anything about and has not play, paid any child support That's so that we can hear that clip over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe with a beat under it even. Yeah. It's a, uh, cause it's definitely oh, going to happen. Oh boy. Can you take more? I can take more. I will remind everyone, by the way, the cheering crowd is not an endorsement of his views from most people. It's an endorsement from people who would pay to go to a kid rock show. Yeah. So they're... Let's hope this has no traction. Yeah. Let's hope. And if you want to take a knee or sit during our Star Spangled Banner, call me a racist because I'm not PC and think you have to remind me that black lives matter. Nazis... And now we're getting the KKK. Say screw all you. Stay the f- away. Wait, what was that last bit? So he does not like Nazis or the KKK. Okay. However, he also, in the same uh, stanza, breath. Is that a stanza, stanza, stanza in his speech? Yeah. Does his speech have stanzas? Couplet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> does not like Black Lives Matter. Uh, yeah. So he's like, yeah, you know who's the worst? In order, Black Lives Matter, the KKK, Nazis. Nazis. They're all oh, bad. Oh, man. And, and, and he's equating them. It seems like it. Yeah. To be fair, I don't think he probably has ever read anything in his life ever. <laughs> so he may not actually know what Black Lives Matter. Entrance. Exit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, he probably only knows what Black Lives Matter is, matters is from Fox News. Yeah. Where it they tell him. Like, right, right, right. They lay it all out for you. It's no secret we're divided, and we all should take some blame. We should be ashamed that we all seem scared to call him by his name. Is that Jesus? Is that about Jesus? I guess. So please, almighty Jesus, if you're looking down tonight. Jesus. Oh my god, this is this is a nightmare scenario for me. I would like anyone who heard that and goes, Yeah, we are a nation under God. He loves Jesus to go look up any lyric from any kid rock album. <laughs> yeah. In fact, let's let's have a sampling. I think we should. I think we should. So everything he said is bullshit. Well, can we start with that? Yeah. He's full of shit. He's obviously, I mean, I remember when this guy was like an anti-establishment type well, guy he, in he's a still, stupid way, but he's yeah. still, an, he's the Donald Trump anti-establishment. He's that. Yeah. yeah, he is that. That's right. Establishment, bad. I'm part of it now. Hmm, fat pockets. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> yeah, right? That's that's pretty much it. it. Every thought concludes with fat pockets. Oh, man. Why does Kid Rock Little Caesars come up? Uh, it was at the Little Caesar uh, because that's see right. Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know where this is going. That it just seems correct that Detroit <laughs> would have the Little Caesars Arena. It, that's all I'm saying. It's well, you feel bad for Detroit, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, Little Caesars comes calling, and um, <laughs> who's going to refuse five dollar hot and ready? <laughs> Who's going to refuse that? Um, from the album Grits Sandwiches for Breakfast. Mm-hmm. I'm looking up some lyrics now from the first track on that album, which is ostensibly the first track on the first Kid Rock album. Okay. From 1990, Nathan. Oh, why? 1990. I did not think he was alive then. This is from the song Yo Da Lin in the Valley. Voice Talking. 
But anyway, I, I, I like to value my relationship with women. You know, sometimes I get so deeply involved, I just, I just have to feel like oral sex would complete our relationship. It, the first thing I looked up, Yoda Lynn in the Valley, yo, 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 Yoda Lynn in the Valley, a delicious break from potatoes, Yoda la you, here we go. Yo, 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 da li let them know how I'm laying, unusual, kind of casual, yes, with me, girls are obsessed to get undressed, get fresh, and have me yodel in the valley, and I do it at the drop of a dime, sometimes going from behind, slowly stroking, no joking, my tongue just keeps on poking, and the best type of uchi coochie is the type that tastes like sushi, oh my god. So Jesus, <laughs> this is um, here, from that to one nation under God. Let me. Uh, oh boy. I'd like to read the beginning of the song. Where are you at, Rock? Oh boy. Okay. By Kid Rock. Um, I assume it's a song. His lyrics. I don't want to take these out of context, so I'll start from the beginning. Okay. Keep in mind, these are all Kid Rock quotes. I am not condoning any of this. Um, <clears throat> bitch. <laughs> Where are you at, Rock? Uh, Where are you at? Answering machine. Beep. That noise. <laughs> um, you fucking ass fucking hole. Where are you at, Rock? Where are you at? Where the fuck are you? You fucking love me. Yeah, motherfucking right. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Next. Do we need any more examples? Now let's uh, get down with the brass tacks. Do you have more? I mean, go ahead with your thing. Okay. Before I hit you with this funk. Not funk. Nope. Like it or not, Hillary Clinton lost, and your president is Donald Mother Trump. That that is actually a true fact. It's accurate. He is. He got that right. It's got folks in disarray. Where they didn't get rock for president of the USA. Okay, okay. No, 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 damn it. Senate, one thing, not for it, no. <laughs> we are not fucking doing this. No. We are not. We are returning from the brink of idiocracy. We cannot do this, America. Don't, do, where is he, Minnesota? Uh, in no, Michigan. Michigan, I'm yeah. sorry. Why did I think Minnesota? No, oh, that's Al Franken. Don't do this, Michigan. No. <laughs> do not do this. Keep your evils to yourself. Michigan. Keep your evils to yourself. We've got enough shit to deal with, friends. Um, This is the man, by the way, who his actual Ooh. campaign poster he stood in front of said, Kid Rock, 2018 for U.S. Senate. <laughs> He's running under the name Kid Rock. Rock. <laughs> and just to remind you, Michiganians, of your uh, potential senator, I'll give you another quote here from the song Fuck You Blind. No. I'll fuck you blind till you just can't see no mo. I'll fuck you blind. I'll fuck you blind. Even the insane clown posse would look at that and go, oh no. That shit is whack. <laughs> Could we could we organize a counter um, counter kid rock movement with the insane clown posse? We, we're, we're we might as well. Everywhere we go, we just drown him in grape soda. You know what? Let's. I say if we're gonna if Michigan's gonna do it, they go all out. I don't want just kid rock. I want all of the Detroit rappers. Oh, I like this idea. I want. Kid Rock, I want Insane Clown Posse, I want Eminem, Eminem. I want Royce the Five Nine, I want all of them running against each other. I like that idea. I like that idea. Is Celebrity Deathmatch still around? That's how this should be solved. That is how this should be (laughs) solved. I think I recall an episode of Celebrity Deathmatch with Kid Rock and Eminem. Really? I think I do. Allow me to YouTube. I, um... I would also like it on the record that no one who has ever been married to Pamela Anderson at any point in time should be allowed to run for political office of any type. I'm even saying city council, 
School board, nothing. Definitely not school board. No, not, <laughs> nope, you're out. You're not allowed. You're not allowed near anything. Uh, boy, here's a little bit. Yep, I found it. It is Celebrity Deathmatch Kid Rock versus Eminem. I think this was MTV's finest show. I wouldn't would you, argue would, with would that. Would you disagree? Welcome I wouldn't argue. main event. Eminem and Kid Rock have both wrapped their way to the top of the charge, but there's only room for one at number one. Both these kids grew up in Detroit, perfecting their chops on the main streets of Motown. Eminem even joined Kid Rock on one of his early albums. But now they both want to be the king of the white rap capital of the world. So tonight we'll separate the white rap from the white crap in a deathmatch special we're calling Total Request Day. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I will also throw this out there. Um... Just as a reminder, well, as a reminder, just so everyone knows it's a thing. Um, and they can think about this anytime they see that he's running for political office. Yeah. And this is from the Kid Rock Wikipedia page. Okay. Kid Rock and Scott Stapp, singer of the band Creed, Uh-oh. appear in a sex tape from 1999 in which the two are seen partying and receiving oral sex. California Pornography Company Red Light District planned to release the tape in 2006, but both Rock and Stapp filed with the California courts to sue Red Light District and stop the tape's distribution. What the fuck? Are you kidding right now? The idea that somewhere there is a recording of Kid Rock and Scott Stapp both getting getting oral sex at the same time makes me hate the planet <laughs> yeah yeah it's kind of like let's just go to that moon let's just go ahead and go to that moon of saturn and get the fuck out of here let's leave all these dipshits here mm-hmm. and we'll go start our own moon colony i'm i'm for it so that we can okay party people time for the trd trivia question i think we have sarah on the line hey Carson. first of all can i give a shout out to julie and all the girls at the short hills mall hey girls Okay, Sarah, today's question Someone's is, playing Carson what Daly in this. about growing up in the ghetto, but is really the son of a car salesman from the suburbs? That's easy. Kid Rock. Yo, man, step off. Why are you frying on me? Ow, cut it out, Bob. What's it to you, Marshall? Oh. Yeah. He's the son of a car salesman from the, the suburbs of yeah. Detroit. Working class. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and like that. He's got some I'm fat to... wallets, though. Yeah. Um, oh boy! So that—that's the world we live in. That's a—that's a thing. Anything to help me feel less depressed? Um. So I don't know if you've been following the whole ESPN controversy. Oh, just a taste. Okay. So a one of the uh, anchors on the Sports Center at six. Mm-hmm. Uh, she tweeted that Donald Trump is a white supremacist. Yes. Now. I think we can all agree that is not an original thought. <laughs> nope. I wouldn't even call it controversial. <laughs> At this point, that has been tweeted nine billion times. <laughs> For some reason, Donald Trump latched onto this one. <laughs> and he's very upset. I'm not going to say whether it's because it's from a woman or from a black woman, um, but he latched onto this one for some reason. Yeah. Okay. That that's not the amusing part to me okay. at all. Okay. I mean, it's stupid that everyone's getting this worked up about it. Uh, Trump demanded ESPN apologize. Whatever. Mm. We'll get more to that into in the quick hits later. Okay. Um, oh, there's quick hits. Yeah, there's quick hits. Oh, fantastic. But what what's happening now <laughs> is all of these different networks that have to have two sides to argue with each other mm. cnn fox news yeah, everyone yeah. Yeah, yeah are finding an espn person and what's the other side fox sports so it's spreading to the sports <laughs> yeah so it, it the fox sports people don't like the espn people okay so they're just going to say bad stuff about the espn people <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> 
Um, Fox Sports presumably owned by Fox. Yeah. Uh, ESPN, any affiliation to CNN? Uh, they, no. Okay. They are owned by Disney. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. So, uh, CNN, Brooke Baldwin. <laughs> Every time I've ever watched Brooke Baldwin's show, she loses control of it. And this one sounds like it was the the uh, worst. She she had Fox Sports' Clay Travis on okay. today. Okay. Who said... <clears throat> I'm a First Amendment absolutist, and I believe in two things completely. The First Amendment and boobs. Oh, wow. Uh, Anchor Brooke Baldwin asked Travis to clarify if he said the word boobs or booze. (laughs) Boobs, he said. (laughs) Two things that never let me down. The First Amendment... And boobs. <laughs> those so are the, bizarre. Those are the two things I believe in absolutely uh, in the country. What? They had this man on television? Yeah. A, opposite an ESPN person. The ESPN person replied, uh, this was Keith Reed, a former editor, said, I'm not talking about that on television because it's irrelevant to the topic. (laughs) It shouldn't be brought up here. However, I agree. Um. (laughs) I do also like boobs, but that is not the point. So Travis said, why not? Why is he not going to talk about it? About boobs. (laughs) (laughs) Because I'm a supporter of women and their careers. And Brooke Baldwin just ended the segment. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I think that's all we have time for. I I never um, I miss all the CNN segments that are boob centric. I all of them. all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that did cheer me up though. Thank you. I just don't under I don't know what they're expecting putting sports radio personalities People, yeah. on TV to talk about an actual right. <laughs> issue. Two things never let me down. <laughs> I mean, all of them are just this close to screaming about how Kevin Durant never should have left the Oklahoma City Thunder or something. <laughs> right. They don't care about any of this. No, they no, 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 not <laughs> not at all. Um, it, you gotta wonder what his motivation was there. Likes boobs. Well, yeah, is it as simple as that? It's he's, gotta he's be as just, simple as that. It's it's his First Amendment. <laughs> His first I, amendment I wanna, right to love boobs. I want to. Well, that's true. I want to know about all the times that the first amendment never let him down. <laughs> like, what has he said, including this? Actually, hey, ma'am, like, I sure like those boobs. <laughs> first amendment. Your tatas look delicious. <laughs> never lets me down. <laughs> Government allows me to do this. It's great. I have a quick hit for you. <clears throat> How quickly does that phrase end up on a t-shirt? <laughs> uh, not quick enough. <laughs> if it's not on a t-shirt now, it's... <laughs> right now. Right now. I should be able to go to any mall in America right now and pick that up. <laughs> you should. You should. Every Spencer's gift. Oh, and, absolutely. There should be an entire First Amendment and boobs corner. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do we want quick hits? I do want quick hits, yes. Okay. I do want quick hits You know now. what that means. Quick hits music? Yeah, man. It'll be there. You just have to trust. I want to trust. Can't be slower? You want it slower? No, I don't care. Okay. Uh, this week, boxer Floyd Mayweather uh-huh. was asked about Donald Trump's infamous Access Hollywood bus recording. He said, quote... People don't like the truth. He spoke like a real man spoke. Okay. It seems like there's an extra spoke in there, but that's the direct quote from him. <laughs> <laughs> if you are Donald Trump, is there a worse person to defend you than a boxer who's been charged with domestic assault multiple times? I honestly... There's a correct answer. Here. I was reading about First Amendment and boobs, and there was a picture of a of, of a voluptuous woman, mm-hmm. and I didn't hear anything you just said. 
Floyd Mayweather yes. defended Donald Trump. Oh, yes. Is there a worse person to have defend you than a boxer who's been charged with domestic assault multiple times? Uh, only if the scenario was reversed and Donald Trump was defending Floyd Mayweather. That would be the only worst. Incorrect. Oh. O.J. Simpson. Ah, very good. <laughs> O.J. defending Donald Trump would be worse. That would be worse. Um, as we were just speaking of, Donald Trump demanded ESPN apologize this week after a sports center anchor tweeted that he is a white supremacist. One to ten. What are the odds that Donald Trump's only demanding an apology because he's bitter that the 30 for 30 documentary about the USFL made him look like a turd. One is the low end, ten's the high mm-hmm. It's ten. It's at least a nine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they interviewed him in the documentary. So he knows that documentary exists, and I'm sure he does not like that documentary. The iPhone X... I saw a little was bit announced of it. this yeah, week. Yeah, it's totally glass, right? It will come with a price tag of nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Fuck you, Apple! A price that Apple fans are definitely going to pay. That's true. Why are Apple people such suckers? <laughs> uh, I'm an Apple person, but I'm one of those Apple people who Apple has kind of pissed me off at this point. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm a faltering. I don't ever have the newest thing. That's this is an iPhone five. Yeah. They got five more now, is what you're telling me. I, I is don't, X10 or is it just... I don't think it's 10. I okay. think they're on eight. Yeah, they are on eight. They are on eight. But I think they just went, you know what's a cool letter? X, X, and let's make it like a premium price. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yes, they are. But, but why? Oh, why? <clears throat> they are because um, most people have a, a deep, deep hole inside themselves. Mm-hmm. It lets gases in and out mm-hmm. much but, like uranus yeah but it never yeah. lets fulfillment in mm-hmm. that's it's mm-hmm. it's a fulfillment blocker okay yeah all they really need is so you some have, meditation you have an apple shaped hole in your heart uh, not the fruit i don't they do yeah. yes um finally okay 11 year old frank jasho Okay. Not sure I said that at all, mm, right? You probably didn't. An 11-year-old named Frank. We'll focus on that part. Let's, let's. Frank. Yeah. Had his dream come true today. Oh, he got to. When Donald Trump. Oh, no. Invited him to mow the White House lawn. Wow. He had written a letter saying he'd like to mow the White House lawn, and Donald Trump let him. At the end, Trump even congratulated him with a high five. That's nice, right? That's nice. Okay. How many other times in Donald Trump's life was he willing to touch the hand of a groundskeeper? (laughs) This was literally the first time. That is definitely true. (laughs) Yeah, this is literally the first time. Ooh, the unclean! (laughs) I actually think Mm. it's hilarious in a way that he let that, that he allowed that to happen because he's like, the fucking kid wants to do it for free. Yeah. Like, that, that I think, was part of the motivation, don't you? Like, yeah. what do we spend on gas? I can't do it with Trump right now, but, yeah. like, what? he's talking to his Secret Service guy. Hey, what do we what do we spend on gas for this thing? He, Let the kid who wants to do it. Let him do it. He's going to go over to other countries and be like, the White House is great. We have the best groundskeepers. Some of them are 11. Yeah, exactly. We have 11-year-olds. It's a job training program. <laughs> Uh, there's there's a picture of him walking alongside the kid, which there's two ways you can look at it. One, he's just keeping the kid company, and, like, it's a nice moment. Two, he's out there telling the kid when he misses a spot. Yeah. <laughs> Three, uh, the picture that you didn't see is him clutching his chest <laughs> because he had to walk. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know how far he walked. Yeah. They they probably pulled a golf cart up. He took like five steps with the kid, and then he got back on the golf cart. What you couldn't see is the trail of Secret Service <laughs> passing his legs along underneath him. <laughs> the other picture you couldn't see is after he high fived the kid, he like a la Mission Impossible peeled a thing off his hand yeah. and threw it. In yeah, the he's not gonna <laughs> actually get the kid's germs. He's a commoner. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's never lived in a palace. They call them untouchables for a reason. <laughs> you don't touch them. Um. So yeah, that's the quickest. You done quick hitting me? Yeah, that was quick. That was quick. Quick and hit. And dirty. Okay. Not terribly dirty. Yeah, I mean, not as dirty as a London. We after the whole Kid Rock situation. Oh, I don't know boy. that we can get dirtier than that. That and the London Fatberg. I mean, you got you got blowies with Scott Stapp. That's so <laughs> weird and bizarre and horrible. Just like hanging out, and they're yeah. like, "Hey, you know what we should?" First do? of all, anyone that gets a cooperative blowjob, mm-hmm. or not a cooperative, because no one was interacting, right. I suppose. Well, and the o- opposite of a cooperative blowjob is like a forced one. I guess. Which is... <laughs> That's not okay. If if that came out, his approval rating would drop like two or three points for sure. Oh, I, yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Until he turned it into a rhyme. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, knowing that it's Kid Rock, his approval rating would just be through the roof with people going, yeah, I support that decision. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like... I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, anyone that gets a blowjob standing yeah. next to someone else getting a blowjob. Mm-hmm. Is a gross person? That's strange. It's a gross person. It's strange. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, do do what you do, consenting I mean, adults and all that, but that's that's a little... I don't know. I would have second thoughts about a person, you know? I, I feel like that moment represents the worst of 90s rock. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, that was... That was when Kid Rock was full into the rap rock thing, yeah, too. Yeah, uh, Creed. Late 90s. Just existed. They did. They sure did. That's that's just the very bottom of it. Can you take me higher and so the, I can get a blowjob? <laughs> and Chad Kroger from Nickelback. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, was just like, what? guys. Heir to the Kroger throne. Why don't I ever get to come along? (laughs) That's my Nickelback impression. And then they threw Chad Kroger into Saturn (laughs) so that he would burn up and not contaminate anywhere else. There we go. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, oh, I thought of something I have to mention. What? So, uh, Philly Steve has been very much enjoying our uh, references to, uh, like, synth pop. It's been happening a lot. Like, we've talked about Depeche Mode. We've talked about, I think, New Order. uh, Did I talk about how I don't really like them? Yeah, you did. Okay. But I love, I love. um, So, I, um, he sent me, let me try to find it, um, something. I think he just devised for himself. It's a sushi jackknife synth pop bingo card. So that each time we mention <laughs> one of these bands, he can like put a dot on it. I guess. I guess that's how that works. Do they have to come up spontaneously? Now I, I think now they that do. I know they yeah. exist. I think they do. I think they have to. I think they should come up spontaneously. Uh, let's see. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I I was like, you should totally do it, and he totally did it. Uh, here it is. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at it right now. I have to send you this. Sushi Jackknife Classic <coughs> Synth Pop Bingo. <laughs> Human League is on there. Kate Bush is on there. Eurythmics, Talk Talk, Blondie, Gary Newman, Tears for Fears, Devo, Cindy Lauper, Flock of Seagulls, uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Nina. Oh, that was the other one, Nina, because I put for 99, I put 99 Luft Balloons in the bot oh, yeah. the, on the tail, and that caused YouTube to uh, send me a yeah. desist thing. New Order, Pet Shop Boys, Ha, The Police, Thompson Twins, Kraftwerk. <laughs> it's so awesome. Grace Jones. Oh my God, Grace Jones. Soft Cell. Uh, I was listening to New Order actually very heavily today. Very heavily. You have to see this. Here you go. Have a look. I don't... It's awesome. He put, like, album covers and the... Well, that's that's a lot of work. He did a great job. So you guys can play along at home if you want. Yeah. You but guys see, now, now that I've seen it, I'm going to be tempted to avoid... Saying any anything of those? Anything here or here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, I'm, I'm just going to hit the weird side oh, spots yeah, that are yeah. just upsetting yeah, and frustrating. Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm probably not going to hit any of them. <laughs> um, I'm going to be honest. I don't know that I've ever purposefully made a uh, synth pop reference in my life. I think that I have. Uh, no, I know you have. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, actually, um, 
I, I'm glad that I thought of that because I totally did listen to New Order like most of the morning today. It was great. And I listened to the uh, the band Electronic from the album Electronic, which was one of the guys, the singer from New Order and Johnny Marr from the Smiths. Okay. Uh, awesome collaboration. Really great. I, I'll yeah. believe you. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I will not be. They have this song called out. "Getting Away with It" that you should definitely listen to. Probably not. It has the that. same walk down as a psychedelic first song. It's got all my life, and the psychedelic first is "Love My Way." Just about the same thing. That sounds like a pretty basic walk down. It is, but it's great. <laughs> uh, it's great in both songs. Mm-hmm. I love, I love both songs. Okay, "Love My Way" and uh, "Getting Away with It." Cool. Yeah. I'm not gonna listen to it. I know you I guarantee won't. I, will. I know. I I bet you thirty seconds after we end this podcast, <sighs> I will have forgotten that it even exists. Thirty seconds from Cassini. I feel like we should tell Jared Leto to rename his band. Okay. I'm for it. I mean there've only ever been like what, two objects that were thirty Does seconds his from band Mars. Still exist? I don't know. Does he still exist? Yeah. What's he doing? I uh, he uh he did uh the Joker. Oh, yeah. In Suicide right. Squad. I didn't see that, did you? No. I didn't think you would have. Why would I? It it looks like an angsty teen superhero movie. I'm not interested. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not interested in that. Okay. But he's getting another movie at some point, being the Joker. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, well, good. I won't watch that either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I saw Heath Ledger be the Joker. I can't... Can't unsee that? I mean, no one's going to be better. It's fantastic. It's... The whole time you're just going to be going, yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's of not course. as good. Yeah. It's a different take, but, you know, not as... Whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I think it's Dice of Material time. It's what? Dice of Material time. I don't want to reach it. Just to... Re- just, to just, 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 just... There you go. This is your roll. You got a one. Do Pacino. Sushi jackknife. Sushi jackknife. <laughs> <laughs> you outed it. That's you how Pacino took, would do you it. You took the easy way out. Yeah, that's what Pacino would you do. You little fucker. Yeah. Good night, everybody.
Mm-hmm.